Module 3, Lesson 16, Homework. Draw the following roads. A. One road. So they've already drawn the one road there for us. The piece shown below is only three-sevenths of the whole. Complete the drawing to show the whole road. So this is three-sevenths of the whole road. So since we have three of the seven, I'm going to break this into three. And we need, so we have three sevenths. Here's one seventh. So we need to make the whole road, the whole road would be equal to seven sevenths or one whole. So I'm going to add on four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, seven sevenths. You can either write seven sevenths in there or I'm just going to leave it as one seventh. So that would be the entire road. B. One road, the piece shown below, is one sixth of the whole. So this piece is one sixth, just the entire thing. We want to show the whole road. The whole road would be equal to six sixths or one. So I'm going to add on five sixths to get my six sixths. So there's three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. So that would be the whole road. C. There are three roads A, B, and C. B is three times longer than A. C is twice as long as B. Draw the roads. So let's start with that. So we have A, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a road for each A, B, and C. So they're all the same size right now. So we can start here with B is three times longer than A. So if this is A right here, here's A, B is three times that size. So I'm going to add two units on there so that B is three times longer than A. Now C is twice as long as B. So if we're looking at C right here, C is two times bigger than B. So first let's make it match B. Now it's twice as long. So I'm just going to double that. So there's C. So now we drew the roads. What fraction of the total length of the roads is the length of A? So first, let's count how many units we have here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 units. A is just 1 tenth. A is 1 tenth of the total length. So that is that part. And if road B is seven miles longer than road A, what is the total length of road C? So what it's saying is that A plus seven is equal to B. Now if we're looking at B here, this is A. So then plus 7, these two must equal 7. So if we take 7 and split it in half, each one is 3 and a half. So each unit is equivalent to 3 and a half. Now, it wants to know what is the length of road C. So we now know that each unit is 3 and a half. So we just need to add all of those together. So you could do like three and a half plus three and a half is seven. This three and a half plus three and a half is a seven. This three and a half plus three and a half is seven. Seven plus seven plus seven is equal to 21. So the length of road C would be 21 units. D, write your own problem with two or three lengths. So this 
has endless possibilities. You just need to write your own problem, like C. It wants you to have two or three lengths, so you could just have roads A and B, if you want to keep it simple, say like road A is twice as long as road B, give a couple measurements. Um, but this is up to you. You can be creative. Good luck.